Sooner or later, the world has to accept you on your own terms. To be honest with you, probably the most profound statement I ever heard in all of success. Why is it important? I want to ask you a question before we get this video started about authenticity. And I don't know if anybody's ever come from this angle, but this is the real reality. What are you trying to do on this earth? Are you trying to build a life so somebody else can say that you did a good job? If you say that's what you're trying to do, your entire life is about somebody else telling you you did a good job, well, basically, you're never going to be authentic. And I'm going to tell you why. Just think about, at the core, what you're saying when you say that you're doing things so somebody else can give you recognition that you did a good job. You're basically saying that your life is not validated unless somebody else approves of it. Now, with this being said, the core fundamental about authenticity comes down to one simple thing. If you are operating from that basis, you'll never be authentic. It's just the fucking truth. But I want to make this video and talk a little bit differently about what I believe authenticity is. And I want to go back to when I first started. So when I first started on this platform, YouTube, I used to get on here. You can kind of tell. If you go back, you can tell. I was on here trying to speak a certain way because I believed that, oh, well, you know, maybe later down the road, there were certain situations, people who wouldn't accept me. They saw these videos, they would be like, oh no, you know, that you're talking a little bit too brash or you're talking a little bit uh, too, I don't know, hood, ghetto, whatever the fuck you want to say for me to do business with you. And I think at the core, fundamentally, this is why a lot of us don't or are not authentic. It's not just about society either. It might be your mother because she's watching you're saying, I don't want to say certain words. I didn't want to curse when I was first on here. I, wouldn't, I didn't want to say certain words because I thought, oh shit, my mother might be watching. You know, I love, my, I love my mother, she's watching. You know what it is. But the whole point is, I would express myself one way with friends, I would express myself one way with family, I would express myself one way in business, and none of those things truly were at the core who I was, who the fuck I was. I talk about a big struggle I had with saying the N-word on camera, right? So I didn't want to get on him and say, what's up my nigga? It's your boy coming at you. I didn't want to be that. Because to be honest with you, I don't even think that's an honest expression of me. Of course, in the past, when I was in the hood, that shit has been said. But the whole point is that authentic. And what I really believe authenticity comes down to is the simplicity of a true expression that resonates with your soul. And I'm talking about soul. I'm talking about deep inside of you. Let's think about this for a second. Just because you did something in the past doesn't make it inherently you. So, for example, you hung around friends that you no longer hang around just because you don't speak the same way or you don't talk in slang or you don't curse a lot or you do do those things. That doesn't necessarily make it you. You get what I'm saying? Does, does that make sense? Like it doesn't necessarily make it you. What makes it you is, is it an authentic expression of yourself? It was some shit that I did when I was young because oh, I had an older brother and I was trying to fit in, but I didn't really fuck with that. So was that authentic? But everybody else would have said I was authentic when I dropped out of college. I said, you know what? I'm going to pursue business. Everybody said I wasn't being authentic because they're like, you're the smart one. You're supposed to go in school. You're a dropout. And to be honest with you, they were all wrong. They were all fucking wrong. But the whole point was, going back to what I said at the beginning of this video, what was my whole point on this earth? Was to create an authentic expression of myself here. A lot of times we get on videos and stuff like that, and we're not really us. Because at the, at the core, to be honest with you, we're really looking for the acceptance of people around you. But to be honest, if you want to be successful or you want to be a truly authentic or unique person, at a certain point, you got to say, fuck it. Hey, either you accept me or you don't. And that's kind of the point I've come to when it comes to my journey, when it comes to business and success. Hey, look, you can accept me or not. I came from sleeping on my mother's floor. That was my background. I built a business up out of nothing. And the way I did that was just going up to people and saying, hey, this is who the fuck I am. I didn't go try to lie about, hey, you know, I'm making all this money and shit like this. I said, hey, this is what I am. This is where I'm at. And a lot of times people looked at me and they laughed. Fuck them. Because the honest, honest to God truth is, I'm only here for one reason. And that's to give the authentic expression of myself as I operate on this earth. And if I don't do that, I feel like I've been a failure. It's not how much money I make. It's not about how many fucking accolades I get or how much that my friends, family, and my mother, and all of them pat me on my head and said, baby, you did a good job. It's about the fact that I did what I wanted to do and I express my gifts that I have best to this world. So if you're not doing that, I feel like that's the only thing that makes you a failure. And I wanna say this last thing before I get out of here about true authenticity. That quote I gave at the beginning of this, the profoundness of it comes in more and more every day because I really think about this. When I was starting off, I remember the type of person I was and I just started becoming this person, this entrepreneur. I just started getting up, I started talking to cameras, I started conducting business, I started learning, I started putting myself out there, I started taking massive fucking action. That's why it's on my chest right now. I started doing that. 
And then all of a sudden people just forgot that old person. Now people will look at me literally in my eyes, not remembering the old me and say, man, this is the authentic expression of you. And I think to myself, holy shit, these people have no fucking idea this is not who I used to be. Sooner or later, the world will have to accept you on your own terms. So let me ask you a question. Are you soft? Are you a person who's gonna like, fuck it, I'm gonna let the world tell me who I'm supposed to be? Are you the type of person to go out and say, you know what, fuck that. My whole goal being here is my happiness to reach my highest potential and to look back on my life and say, you know what, I did the things that I wanted to do. And I can look back at the end of my days when it's all said and done and say, I forced the world to accept me on my own terms.